Hello friends, today we will know how to create a Wheel of Fortune animation in Flutter without using any third-party packages from scratch. To start with, I have a couple of images for creating our Wheel of Fortune. First, there is a wheel, then another one is a marker which will show us the position of the item which we have on and wheel is the one which we will give it a spin. Marker will be static one, it will not rotate. First, to create our widget wheel, we will use a stack and then import our two image assets into the stack and overlap them by using a center alignment. Now our wheel of fortune widget is ready. Next we will try to rotate it by a degree of 180 degrees in one frame by using the transform.rotate method from Flutter. Now as we can see our widget is rotated but it does not look smooth. So now we will try to rotate our widget from 0 to some angle and give it a smooth animation. Now to create an animation we will first create a stateful class then we will create an animation controller which will require a ticker which we can get from single ticker provider state mixin and we will also provide the duration of the animation for which the wheel will spin it will be 4 seconds next we will pass this animation controller to our wheel widget then we will create a twin which will give us all the values between two angles for which we want to rotate our wheel from this twin we will create our animation object which will have reference to our animation controller and also we will pass it a curve of deacceleration so that our animation will feel like it is deaccelerating towards the end Now to rotate our widget, we will use an animated builder and wrap it to our earlier transform.rotate method. Then we will pass our controller to it. Then we will pass the angle value from the twin that we have already created. And we are done. Now our wheel is rotating with a very good smooth animation. We can also try to optimize our code more by using the child property of our animated builder. We can also show a dialog box at the end when the animation is completed and show what we have on. For this we can attach an event listener to our animation controller and then when the status of our animation is completed we will show a dialog box. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe Startup Lego for more.